Welcome to Vienna, boys and girls, the city of awesome schnitzel, the city of awesome microphones. Vienna has a very long microphone building history and today we have come here to visit Austrian Audio and they're going to show us how they hand build one of my favorite microphones, the OC818. They're going to walk us through every step of the production and if you want to know how a studio microphone is being built, this is your video. And to make this video even more exciting, one of you guys can win not a schnitzel but a studio mic, an OC18 microphone. Time to have some fun boys and girls, let's build a microphone together. Here we go. Welcome to the Austrian Audio Workshop. This is where the magic happens. And look at this. This is the OC818, a multi-pattern large diaphragm condenser microphone. And this is what we're gonna build today. And now it's time to meet Jenny. She's one of the five people here at Austrian Audio who build the microphones. Each of them, they are responsible for the entire process. They start with the membrane and they do everything up to the final assembly of the microphone. And what makes Jenny even more badass is not only that she has a great job and she's capable of building awesome microphones, but while doing that, she's actually listening to some really evil and heavy music. So when I came here, she was blasting some Thy Art is Murder deathcore. Anyway, you can use the chapters below to navigate through this video and the different stages of the microphone building process. Let's start with the very first stage and this is the membrane, the moving part of the microphone that catches the sound waves, kind of like our eardrum. Let's pass it on to Jenny. And here we can see the material for the membrane, that's mylar, gold spotted mylar. And that's what we need for one microphone. And Jenny's gonna put this into a tensioning device. This is some kind of placeholder to tune the membrane. Now she's removing the screws to open it up. And then we can put the mylar in there. At Austrian, they tune every single membrane individually to make sure they all are tuned to around two kilohertz. Now she's using a soldering iron to put three holes into it so we can attach the screws without damaging the membrane. And that's gonna happen now. Let's put the screws in to fix everything so the membrane is held in place. Take it out. Again, this is just a placeholder that will be removed later. Now we start with a little manual tuning. And this is tuned like a drum head, basically. You see? Now we're already in the ballpark. Now we'll put it into this machine, which will fine tune each individual membrane to the exactly correct resonance frequency. Perfect. Let's remove it. And the next step is to glue a brass ring onto the membrane. This is the brass ring. Perfect. Now we will glue this to the membrane. Here we go. Nice. And now this needs to dry. So Jenny will put it onto a heating plate where it can dry for a few hours. Now, after that, we can actually remove the placeholder. We can remove that tensioning device. Let's take out the screws because we have the brass ring on the membrane and looks nice. Now it's time to remove all the material, all the mylar that we don't need anymore. That looks nice and shiny and here's our membrane. Now we put it back for some testing and this will make sure that the membrane has the right resonance. Again, other microphone companies don't tune every single membrane individually. At Austrian, they say this is one of the most important things for not only a good sound, but also for consistency. We've passed the test, nice. And here's our final membrane. Now that we got our membrane ready, it's time to integrate it into what I call the heart of the microphone, the capsule. And that's gonna happen right behind me. 
Jenny, take over. Let's open this thing up. This is where we put the capsule together. Not only we like alcohol, the parts of a microphone also like alcohol. This is for cleaning, obviously. Jenny will put on some what I call finger condoms to make sure her body fat doesn't contaminate any of the mic parts. And we start with some screws. Now we will add a ceramic ring and continue with the first part of the condenser and that is our membrane. And here comes the alcohol. Let's clean it. And put it onto the ceramic ring. Next up is a distance ring, very important to make sure that both sides of the condenser, the moving part and the electrode, which is coming up now, have a certain distance. And this is the other part of the condenser, the electrode. Next up is a suspension, which is simply for connecting the capsule to the body of the microphone later. And now we add a little white fabric, a resistive material responsible for the cardioid pattern of this side of the capsule. And if we put a backplate onto this now, we would have a simple cardioid capsule, but we don't. The OC818 is a dual capsule microphone. So now we go all the way back, add another electrode, add another distance ring, and you guessed it, another membrane for the other side. Here we go. Another ceramic ring. And now the whole capsule, the dual capsule, with all the possible patterns, is complete. Let's press this together. And add the screws. Boom, here's our final assembled capsule. To connect the capsule to the circuit board and to the amplifier of the microphone, now we add a connection. The membrane is covered so she doesn't accidentally touch it somehow. Here we go. Here's, now you see it. Other side cover it again and that's how the final thing looks like beautiful time to move on our capsule is ready but before we put this into the microphone we need to do some tests to make sure it's working properly we're going to do some humidity tests and we're going to go into an anechoic chamber to do some audio tests as well follow me In the next room, Jenny will do some climate testing with the capsules. This is an oven, 45 degree warm. Then we have a fridge. And then there's also a humidity box with 100% humidity. I think to make sure that, you know, the capsules don't crackle even in more humid conditions. After the humidity box, the capsules are tested on a isolation tester to see if there's any shortcut between the two condenser sides caused by contamination due to fat or dirt. And then it goes back into the oven. And then she moves on for the audio tests in the anechoic chamber. And this is what we see here. Now look at this, this is badass. Besides the capsule, the other highly important part of every microphone is the circuit board. It contains all the electronics and of course the amplifier of the microphone. Now, the OC818 is a highly 
complex and very special microphone. Not only does it have multiple switchable polar patterns and a pad and a filter, it also has two outputs. So you can do stereo recording or you can even change the polar pattern later in the mix and a lot of bells and whistles. And now it's time to talk about exactly this. I'm gonna pass it on to senior acoustic engineer Christoph, who's gonna explain the circuit board. Enjoy. When we take a look at the PCB, we can see some larger NVIDIA components. For example, we can see the pattern switch. We can have a look at the front end of the microphone. The purpose of the front end is to configure the capsule, um, either to sum the two signals together into one signal or to split the signal into two outputs. The output coupling capacitors, which block the DC of the P48 phantom power. On the back side, we can have a look at the power supply board, which is a separate board, which is used to control the voltage that is applied on the capsule to both sides, front side and the back side of the capsule. All of this is controlled by a microcontroller, where all sensitivity values are stored during calibration. The circuit layouts and the circuits themselves are made in-house but the PCBs are supplied by a specialized partner 30 minutes from here. We are finally ready to put things together. We're about to combine the circuit board and the capsule and to turn it into a microphone. We're gonna add the switches and the connectors. So let's put this thing together. Let's start with putting the audio board into the housing. And We'll add some spacers that are going in between the two boards. Then we add the power board and some screws. Tighten them. Now this is ah oh yeah, the mini XLR connector. And as you might know, this microphone is special. It has a normal XLR output and an additional mini XLR, which means if you record both, you can decide about the polar pattern of the microphone later in the mix, which can be very powerful. There's even a plug-in to help you with this, a free plug-in from Austrian Audio. And it's even a multiband plug-in. Check it out if you haven't. One of the things that makes this mic special. Now we're soldering the mini XLR to the PCB. All right. Now we add some additional plastic parts and they are basically to hold certain things in place, including the cables, but also a diffuser. You can see it now, a diffuser. And this one will minimize any acoustic reflections inside of the microphone. And here we have the switches for the polar pattern and for the low cut and the pad. Now everything gets connected. Now we can add the lower part of the housing. Boom. Screws. Another one. And now it's time to solder the capsule into the microphone. Here we go. Beautiful. Very nice. Let's bring all those cables in place as well. Nice. And look at this. Almost done. The head plate, of course. And let me guess, more screws. Right. And here we go. What a nice mic. Now our OC818 is almost ready to be shipped to you. To make sure everything is working properly, we just need some final tests.
Like I've promised you earlier, boys and girls, one of you guys can win this lovely microphone. This is an OC18. This is the cardioid only version of the OC818. And I guess one of the most versatile and best sounding condenser microphones you can find on the market. All you gotta do to win this microphone is subscribe to my email list. There's a link below. And you gotta leave a comment under this video telling me how much you love me or telling this microphone how much you love it. You decide, or maybe you love both of us, up to you. That's all for today, thanks for watching. I see you in the comments section. I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye bye.